Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. We have Sophie right here. <laughs> She's eating her breakfast. Jonathan made pancakes. I made egg. I made bacon. We made sausage. Sausage you just put in the microwave. But um, yeah, this is what we're gonna have for breakfast. Still missing our sausage. But yeah, it is 12 and we're having breakfast, but we had a good time last night, so brunch. brunch. So we're just gonna have breakfast and I don't know what we're doing today. We don't really have plans for today at all, so we'll see. So we just woke up from her nap. And Jonathan is wrapping a Christmas gift. Sophie's is just staring. <laughs> and I'm watching YouTube. I am so sore. My body is extremely sore. I think it was from my dance class that I took yesterday. Sophie's first time with a piano. First time with a piano. Is that her? Yeah. <gasps> oh, wow! We gotta take these tapes off. Next up, we're making eggnog. Clean it up. Eggnog. Wow! Look at you. So fancy with your little hands. Jonathan's getting Sophie to walk because she grabs onto him. <laughs> She's walking. She is walking. <laughs> go Sophie! Go Sophie! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> there she goes again. She's not giving up. That's my girl. Don't give up. Keep trying. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> She's sliding. <laughs> the first palette. Very pinky. Hey! Very 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 <laughs> Where did you go? Sophie! <laughs> Sophie's going down for a nap. Are you going down for a nap? Yes. A nap? You know where we're going. Um, it is Sunday, so of course it's laundry day, but Jonathan's cutting his hair. What are you doing? I'm showing that you're cutting your hair. <laughs> Let me see. Isn't that crazy? I would never cut my hair. No. Uh, when we were newlyweds, um, he used to cut his own hair and this one time I was like, well, if you keep cutting your hair, then I could cut, try to learn and cut it for you, you know? And he was so picky. The first time I ever tried, I was like, I'm never touching your hair. Like, no. And now he'll be like, babe, you want to cut my hair? And I'll be like, nope. Mm -mm. He is so picky. Alright, guys, so it's almost six. Jonathan is showering, so I'm going to start making dinner. I'm going to make uh, carne and salsa again. So I'm going to show you just how I do everything. 
Right now I have three jalapenos boiling with half an onion. Um, I sliced it up, the onion, and it's in there boiling with it. Um, I usually do um, a tomato as well, or two tomatoes, but I have a lot of canned tomatoes, so I'm just going to use that instead. And then here in this pan, I just have onion. Um, I cut them this way because my husband is super picky. He doesn't like to eat onion. So I cut them this long. That way it's easy for him to pick them out when he's eating. But of course, you can make them smaller or do whatever you want. And then this is the meat that I use from Walmart. It's stew meat, beef stew meat. This is what it looks like. I never even like cut out the fat. I just leave it in there just so it can give it more like flavor. But yeah. Once the jalapenos are starting to look like they're peeling is when I know that they're done. And I'll take that into the blender. Now that I've had the onions in there for a little bit, I'm going to add in the meat and... Just so that you guys know, I know last time I didn't put in the onion, but I did use onion powder and garlic powder. But since I do have onion this time, I'm just going to put garlic powder in here. Alright guys, so for salsa, I'm gonna take the onions and jalapenos. It's okay to get a little bit of water in there, um, just so it won't be super thick. You can add water. So I'll let your pe preference. I like it kind of thicker because it goes better with the carne salsa. I like to make the thicker salsa so I don't make I don't add that much water. Oh I usually I always cut off the ends of the jalapenos. Let me do that. I always do that. I forgot because I'm vlogging my food and I never did it. Siguiente paso una lata de tomate diced. How the fuck do you say diced in Spanish? Uh I don't know. Did you have to do that sound too? Jeez. Alright, so that. Okay guys, so I cut a freaking lemon and it got in my eyeball. But anyways, I'm going to use two lemons for the salsa. I'm also going to add some of this nut pollo instead of adding salt just to give it some good flavor. Whoa, not too much. Like that much? I don't know. Like a spoon and a half? A spoon, a spoon. Una cucharadita chiquita, no sé. And that's basically it. Blend it up. Alright guys, so as you can see, my meat is almost fully cooked. You can see a little bit of red spots, so that is when I put in my salsa. I just pour it in there, just like that. And I let it simmer for a good bit, just to know that the meat is fully cooked and everything. Super good. Also, Jonathan has Mexican rice going. And he's eating hot cheeto puffs. My hot mm -hmm. <laughs> Here we have Sophie eating her two cookies. And the meat is boiling. Boiling for a long time. It's simmering like less hot. And simmering is low heat. Yes, but it's sim. Sim. This is boiling. Okay, we're boiling. But it's bien jugoso la carne. Qué rico. 
Sophie is eating chicken alfredo for dinner. And then this is what our carne and salsa and arroz looks like. Sorry, I put my salsa on top so you can't see the rice, but the rice is right there. So yummy. Bath time for Sophie. Wow. Yeah.